back, my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Hey, today we're out here on a beautiful, bright, sunny Ohio February day. <laughs> we brought the Springfield Echelon out to shoot it. Now, you've already seen the videos of the Olight, seen the videos of the Guide Rod and uh, Springs, you've seen the Swamp Fox Optic, and then you've seen the Neptune Concealment Holster. So why will we use my Neptune Concealment Holster today while playing with this on the range? So let's get loaded up. Let's get some pew pewing on because and I'm really interested to see what the upgrades to it has done for it with the light and the spring and the guide rod. Let's go. It's a little windy out here, but we do have our microphones on with our little furry pieces on them. First, we're going to get this sighted in. We're going to be using my uh, USPSA hand loads, cast bullets, one up in the chamber. We got a target set away at 25 yards. Get the dot turned up so I can see it. There we go. Let's take our first shots with the upgrades and getting this dot sighted in. I see I hit high left, so I'm going to do a couple adjustments and then I'll come back. This is the target after 25 yards. My first shot was up here. Now you got to be careful when you're adjusting red dots or 25 yards or any, red dots or green dots or any kind of optics because any slight adjustment is huge out here at 25 yards. So we started here, I backed it down to over here. Got it over here, got it just on the edge. My final adjustment, I'm just off the bullseye on this small, this is a three inch sticker target. I'm just off the bullseye, so we're good to go. I'm a proud affiliate of Neptune Concealment because Neptune concealment holsters are absolutely excellent. They're really tight when you first get them, so you've got to loosen them up a little bit, you got to work them in, but I would rather have it tight than too loose and falling out on me. Fits nice. Great side carry. Really easy draw. After the adjustments to it, and excellent to shoot from. So if you're in the market for a holster, check out Neptune Concealment. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, they fit tight when they first come, but after you get them a little broke in with a few draws in and out, they're just fine. And if you use that code, HOTPOT24, you know it'd be more friendly on your budget. How about that? Excellent. And you know, this review is not just about the Neptune Concealment Holster. I brought that out for it because I'm a very proud affiliate of Neptune Concealment, but the Springfield Echelon. And in all those initial shots, this thing is flat. That extra weight out there with that O-Light, that steel guide rod and spring. And um, so far, let's do a slow-mo of it shooting. I don't think my staccato is much flyer than that. That's pretty flat. Really, really happy with it. I got a couple more things coming in for it, so there's gonna be some more offerings for the Springfield Echelon. But until then, excellent runner. Very happy, very pleased with it. You know, if you're into a polymer wonder gun, I wouldn't look anywhere else except Springfield Echelon. I really wouldn't, not in today's market. 
So my choice for everyday carry for my EDC setup for my pistols, I run a Core Essentials Everyday Tactical Style Concealed Carry Belt, Neptune Concealment Holster, and now a Springfield Echelon.